I'm Rosalind Bill, a bioscientist at Aston University. The research in my lab is focused on the problem of how to increase the yields of recombinant protein production experiments. We tackle this problem using a range of approaches in the lab, and in this short podcast, I'll tell you about our work on engineering better microbial cell factories. Our chosen microbial cell factory is yeast, and this microbe is widely used in industry to produce proteins for a range of applications. Therapeutic proteins such as insulin are produced in Saccharomyces cerevisiae, and proteins destined for the drug discovery pipeline, typically membrane proteins, are also produced in yeast. It's this latter class of proteins, the membrane proteins, which provide a particular challenge as they're very difficult to produce in high yields. In our work, we try to focus our efforts in the lab on understanding what the bottlenecks are to achieving high yields of recombinant membrane proteins and we try to overcome this by developing novel yeast strains. Much of the work that we do is in Saccharomyces cerevisiae, which is better known to you probably as baker's yeast or brewer's yeast, but the techniques that we use are easily applicable to other industrially relevant yeast species such as Picchia pastoris. We recently discovered that a set of genes appear to influence the yields of recombinant protein production in baker's yeast. When the expression level of each of these uh, genes is altered, we find there can be quite dramatic improvements in the amount of protein that we get out at the end of our experiment. We've shown in particular that the expression level of one gene, which is involved in ribosomal biogenesis in yeast, has a very dramatic influence and strongly influences the yield of protein that we get compared to the wild type parent strain. Our best results so far have shown that we can get 80 times more protein in our engineered microbial cell factory when we compare it back to the original parental strain. So what we offer is a panel of strains that can be used to improve the yields of a range of recombinant proteins. These have been specifically engineered to improve membrane protein yields, but we've also been able to show that they can produce and improve the yields of soluble proteins as well. And we imagine that these strains are going to be of interest to a range of industrial partners, including contract protein manufacturers and the pharmaceutical business.